Jesus. Okay. Hey guys. Oh my god, my fucking what is going on? I hope that you guys are doing well. In this video, I don't even know what this video is. This is gonna be a very hard one for me to put out there, but I am willing to do it because I just don't feel like myself right now and I kind of want to explain kind of what's been going on. I feel like the only way I will be able to like break out of this barricade that I feel like I'm getting held back on is by like talking and being open about it and then just hopefully from there I could just, just try my best to just keep going forward because right now I don't feel like going forward most days. One of those mornings I decided to just take out my camera and film and just talk in the moment and that's exactly what I did so that's what this video is kind of. So hopefully from here I could just start fresh and just work on being a better better person to myself and yeah so that's exactly what I guess this whole series is going to be about. I decided to just do one big series on it about like getting healthier like my mind and my body just doing things that are good for me like taking care of myself day one of these series i guess um look at i just finished this i'm very happy about it if you guys want me to do like more drawing videos i'd be more than happy to if you guys are interested i just released these shirts the rick and morty shirts and the hoodie yesterday so there's a little bit of couple in stock left but not that much so if you wanted to ever get any of my art now is your chance so right now i'm getting ready for the gym uh, <laughs> uh i hate when like the things that you love just don't interest you anymore or you just feel so awful you don't even want to go so <laughs> you know what i'm gonna do it anyway i'm gonna sh punch that sh thought in the face and just freaking go to the gym anyway. <laughs> I really need new shoes. I do not ever invest in shoes. I don't know why. I just, if shoes are very commitment. Like you have to be willing to love that shoe for a good three years. Shoes are shoes a big are commitment, big okay? okay? But you can never go wrong with Converse. That is why my Converse are literally. Oh, you can't go wrong with these Crocs either. I love these. I literally work out with these and I don't care. Something that I've been taking a lot more serious now, well, I'm going to start, is taking more creatine. Like, I highly recommend creatine if you are, you feel like you're stalling out on your, your progress and you need a little push. Creatine will definitely help with that. So I've been implementing more creatine into my diet. All right, time to go to the gym. Also, I am aware that the footage that you're about to see does not look like me right now. <laughs> that was from yesterday, but shh, okay. Oh, fuck, this is terrible. I'm gonna just film like this. Hey, guys. Okay. Lately, I have been doing big girl stuff. I don't know about you guys with social anxiety, but like even just going into a drive-thru is so freaking nerve-wracking. I've been getting better at that because I've been because I've been going through a lot of drive-thrus lately and just getting food and stuff like that. <laughs> stuff that normal people do. I don't know why I never did that before. It's it's so it's so scary. I don't like it, but I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, so I've been going through drive throughs lately. I guess that's what I wanted. Another sucky thing about this car is that my, my aux stopped working. So literally every time I drive, I have to bring my AirPods because there's no music unless I want to listen to. Powered by New Mexico Tech. This stuff. Yeah, so <clears throat> that's my only option. Or, oh my god, okay, funny story. Let me get comfortable. This is not safe to drive. Like, I lost my phone. <laughs> okay, funny story. So, um, I was at my old apartment and someone left a mixtape on my window. And I literally thought it was going to be just like about me and like they made a rap song for me or whatever. <laughs> or like, I don't know what, 
I don't know what I thought about it. I thought they wrote a song about me. So I was like, oh, that's so sweet. So then I took it in my car. <laughs> Oh my god, who actually left me a mixtape? Okay, that's sick. I want to listen, but I don't have a CD player. And then I played it. <laughs> okay, this was not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> and it was All That Remains, the best album by them, and that exceeded my expectations. Like, I literally could not have asked for a better album. They just they just knew me. And I still don't know who that person was to this day. But I just want to thank you because literally ever since my aux stopped working, that's all I've been listening to is All That Remains. <laughs> And then also, um, when I was coming out of the gym another day, someone left another CD on my car window, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, what is going on? And it was, it's The Edge, and literally I've been listening to that as well. So this one has really good songs. Come so also has this song. Literally, this is the f best song ever. Yeah, Alright, that's enough of that. Okay, time to go to the freaking gym. back home from the gym and now I am doing a zoom lecture on video look how cute the more the merrier you may have all kind of stuff you may be cooking meth in your room oh. and don't want anybody to see that stuff <laughs> uh, <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> you're safe here. do tonight at midnight and then uh, the Tuesday after is to talk about the characteristic network TV show called Kung Fu like back in the 70s American West all right, so this was the part of the video that I was dreading. Um, don't get me wrong, I do have really good days and that is why I'm like debating to post this, but it's like when the bad days hit, they freaking hit hard. I mean like- and his name is John C. Just know that your bad days do not define you. It does not undermine all of your progress that you've made so far. And there will always be better days ahead. You just have to keep fighting for those days. And the good days make it extra, extra special that you fought through the hard ones. So, yeah. I don't know who needed to hear that today, but if you do, there's your sign. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you for hearing me out. Hey guys, what is going on? I hope that you guys are doing well. This what definitely wasn't the video I was planning on filming today, but I feel like I really can't do anything unless 
I just like sit down and like talk and just kind of open up about how I've been feeling and kind of just like what's I've been going through. As you can tell, like <laughs> I'm definitely not taking it easy. <laughs> and it just feels like almost every single day it kind of just gets worse and worse. <laughs> I guess you could tell it's really important by the way like I'm just reacting over it, but I promise I promise I'll get my thoughts together. <laughs> I'm not sharing this for sympathy or for people to feel bad for me. And please, like, if, if you have any, like, negative things to say, please just keep it to yourself. <laughs> I promise I'm not trying to come off the cross, like, as ungrateful or selfish or self-conceited or any of that. I'm just simply sharing my struggles to help others feel like they're not alone or to make me even feel less alone because I know that it's hell just living in my mind but lately I don't know what's been going on it's just something inside of me that's very dark and scary and living in my mind has been hell and it just doesn't get any easier and it just doesn't get easier a lot of people might say like oh this is probably because social media and I'm on it too much but I've been dealing with this for my whole life and social media definitely does enhance it a lot because I guess I feel like I'm expected to be a certain way and I feel like I'm supposed to be like this hero or the survivor of my anorexia and in reality like I feel like I'm falling back like not necessarily wanting to lose weight and all of that but my body dysmorphia has been taking a big toll on my life and I'm constantly obsessing about every flaw that I see in the mirror and goes into a point where it's just unbearable and I can't even go to the gym most days or I can't even record or do my job which is obviously like social media and like putting myself out there. Yeah, from like the outside it seems like I'll just suck it up and do it and just change your thought patterns or change the way you view yourself or like look at what everyone else is saying positively about you but it's hard because your mind is so powerful it just blocks out any positive feedback that you get and ultimately I just feel like I'm nothing and I will never amount to anything and it upsets me because it makes me miss out on so much opportunities and I just wish that mental health was taken more serious than it actually is and just people be more open about it because it definitely feels like a lonely road going through it on your own. You know that nothing that you do about your appearance could change the way that you feel about yourself because I promise you that it has way more to do with than just your appearance. And that issue, I'm still trying to find out what it is. I know it has a lot to do with my childhood and just never feeling like I was good enough for love. And now when I look at myself, I just see a person I hate. And it's like the more that you live in those awful thought patterns, the more you start to believe it. It's hard to unlearn those. But right now, I'm trying to do what's best for me. Like, I'm gonna have those thoughts, but I'm going to choose not to act on the behavior. I think the main point that I'm just trying to get out is not everything what you see online is accurate, and you really don't know what anyone is struggling with behind the scenes. And I think we should just, like, be more comfortable with expressing how we actually feel because you never know how helpful that could be for someone else and yeah so I don't know where this is going but I just felt like I needed to say that before I continue on with like my regular vlogs because I plan to I guess if you're watching this this far I hope this is a sign for you to get the help that you need or find a good support system and talk to them about how you actually feel because I promise you, people love you and people want you here and don't ever let your mind play tricks on you that you are not deserving of love or that you do not deserve to be here. Yeah, so anyway, I, I'll just wrap this up. Um, I promise you a better vlog is to come and a lot more happier one and yeah. <laughs> God, I feel like I didn't even touch on any of the things that I wanted to say because I just got too over dramatic but <sighs> take care guys I love you guys so much and if you ever need a friend to talk to I'm always here just stay strong bye